Hi everyone, um, I'm coming to you with a few questions today. Um, we're talking about kind of harmony on the roads, so between cyclists and car drivers. So stick around if you're a cyclist and stick around if you're a motorist, or if you're both, even better. Um, I, my boyfriend is, he, dri he drives my car, my little Punto, but he is also a cyclist, that's how he gets to work. There are a lot of disputes out there between, you know, what a cyclist is doing wrong, what a motorist is doing wrong, and all motorists seem to absolutely hate cyclists, and all cyclists seem to want motorists off the road. Um, it would be a much nicer place if we could all kind of drive and cycle along together without this kind of anger and, you know, or fighting in some cases um, on the roads. So, I wanted to talk about what really annoys cyclists about car drivers and what really annoys car drivers about cyclists. So, the other day I was driving into the city centre of Norwich and at a roundabout there are traffic lights, but there's, it's also part of a cycle path, so there is a cycle box ahead of the cars, but before the traffic lights. There was a cyclist the other day, and I took a photo so I'll put that on screen now, who blatantly stopped way ahead of the cycle box, even though there's no need to, that's what the cycle box is for. For him to stop in it, to be, able to be away from the roundabout, but to be far enough ahead of the cars that he can pull away nice and quickly, get on with his day. Um, it's that kind of flaunting of the rules that really annoys me. So, to, for another one is just a general traffic lights, pedestrian crossings, zebra crossings. The amount of times I've almost got hit by a cyclist when crossing at a zebra crossing, it's like they just think, oh no, I'm small, I can just whiz through, no one will notice. If you did that in a car, you'd be in trouble. Right. Cyclists should obey the same rules as car drivers where necessary. Um, there are so many things that not annoy drivers about cyclists, I'm not going to go into them all here. But the, on the flip side, um, the, the one thing that I've heard really annoys cyclists is drivers passing too close. Generally, if you're close enough that a cyclist can reach out and touch you, and in a lot of cases some, will whack, some of them will whack on your car, um, then you're way too close. Another one is when uh, a car will overtake but then immediately turn left. So they're overtaking and turning in front of the cyclist who then has to slam on their brakes and that's dangerous for everyone as well. Now I want to hear from you. I want you, if you're a cyclist, to tell me what really fucks you off about motorists. Tell me what they've done, how inconsiderate they are. Rant, have a go at me as a motorist. Just tell me what really annoys you. Uh, feel free to vent in the comments on this video, uh, on the blog, on Twitter, whatever. You'll be able to find me. Um, same goes for motorists. Have a rant about cyclists. What did that one cyclist do today on your commute that really, really made you angry? Made you want to get out of the car and shout at them? Don't do that, by the way. Um, tell me. Yeah, vent, rant. Uh, I'm going to put it all together in a big blog post so we can kind of see what annoys each other because there's not a lot of times that we get to really talk this out. The roads will be safer, they will be more fun to drive, they will be more fun to bike on. Let's make, you know, the world a safer place and everyone can enjoy the roads rather than getting all antsy about what a fucking cyclist did or this fucking driver did. Okay, so let me know. Um, thank you everyone. Speak to you soon.